Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Saideth enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Professor, I am not understanding where the meaning is here. When and how is this expression used? I fell for it. No, that is what you say when you meet the mate of your soul. The expression is, I fell for it. 
Thank you, Professor. I finally have understanding. Can I ask you about another word? The one that is written here. Mm hmm? Is something on my face? I am without much time to study. I must use my time with wisdom. Is that really what you are thinking? Or maybe you have curiosity about the mark on my face? You are already knowing that I am from Bridget. This is a mark from Bridget. It is a prayer to the forest spirits. A prayer to be protected. Hunters ask the forest spirits to have safe and bountiful hunting. There are many spirits in Bridget. I have more marks on my arms and back. They are prayers for my family's health and triumph. Are you wanting to see them? That gives me happiness. I will be showing them to you soon. I have much gratitude for you, Professor. You always listen with patience. I can read and understand the language of Foglin, but to speak it... Uh, gives me difficulty. I hope I will keep having your support, and I will give you my support too, with my whole heart. I have things that I cannot fail to accomplish. Yes, we will keep walking forward. <laughs> Wow, thanks! It's time to start anew. What is with you? Finally coming apart at the seams from all those late nights spent researching, huh? <laughs> For once, your sharp tongue misses its mark! My elation is too powerful for your petty sniping to have any effect! Not 
long ago, the church reached out to me. They bade me travel to House Geert, escorted by the knights. During the Dagda and Bridget War, you see, Houses Nouvelle and Geert fought side by side. Yet we were the ones who suffered wrack and ruin, while they kept their foreign ministry position. I cannot turn back time to change that, of course. But I would relish the opportunity to give Duke Geert a proper tongue lashing. I guess that is one of your pastimes, isn't it? Anyway, seems the church has business with House Geert. Geert is one of the six great noble houses. They oversee the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And the Ministry is in charge of diplomacy for other regions and territories. The Church wishes to obtain a hero's relic, thought to reside in House Geert's collection. The delicate negotiations of acquiring it fall to me, due to my connection with the Duke. I thought they were all returned to the descendants of the ten elites by the church ages ago. House Geert has no ties to the elites, and I don't think the head even has a crest. Odd indeed for them to have a relic. There is talk that the relic fell into his hands during the Dagda and Bridget War. The Church of Saros was displeased to learn this. They feel the relic should belong to them and have made that plain to House Geert. I believe the relic was found in a foreign land where it was mistaken for a marvelous but benign treasure. Then it was probably gifted as recompense to House Geert, as part of a reconciliation. Who can say why it had landed on foreign shores to begin with, though? You seem rather well informed on the subject. Eh, I caught wind of some of the story, which piqued my interest. I did some digging and drew conclusions, like I tend to do. So what you've got is what I think. Nothing more. Anyway, Constance, if you're headed to House Geert, so am I. What game are you playing here? No games, <laughs> this time. I just want to get a gander at that shiny relic they're keeping hidden away. I haven't the authority to prevent it, but if you must accompany us, I should like the professor along too. The more eyes watching this snake, the better. I think you've confused a snake with a bird. You coming, friend? Oh, I knew you'd see things my way. Allow me to make a few quick preparations and we can depart. Oh, what a delicious frisson it gives me to imagine the look upon the Duke's face. <laughs> I sure hope the church knows what they're doing. Choosing her to negotiate this. me, but I will not allow the relic to be taken. Filthy rat. That will be mine. If I have to pry it from your dead hand, all the better. Children of the beasts, expose your true selves! What the... 
Please make it stop! Duke Garrett is in danger. I fear we make for poor reinforcements, yet we must aid him nonetheless. What a mess. Come on, to Duke Garrett. They must work for the church. But I have no choice. I must seek out their aid. Let me at him. Fresh out of luck. Put me in there. Stay focused. That is that. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Yep. I will get the victory. Ugh. Battle. Sure thing. Something is definitely off with them. Be careful. This will take some strategy. Always getting stronger. You see that? Now I can do so much better. Cannot be. The thief menacing the Duke has become a hideous beast. An unexpected obstacle. 
Still, the results of our little experiment were nothing short of exquisite. You fought well. plan. our chance.
weather the storm, huh? Got this. Step aside while we sort this out. Beasts! Rampage! Take his head! They brought reinforcements? I pray that they cause us no further difficulties. Adorable. Do or die. Even 
stronger than I look, yeah? The sun. Yep. Sure thing. I failed to attain the relic, but the experiment yielded results. That's all that matters. I will get the victory. I will remove the One more success. I can't wait to challenge. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Make them tremble. <laughs> Battle. Helpful. Stay focused. in there. was beneath me. Stay focused. Should I have held back? Put me in there. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I'll show you a plan. Oh, 
Sure thing. Forget who you're dealing with. <laughs> Only a fool challenges me. to think. awaits me.
Reds. Wait for my next brawl. Even worse. You, you're Constance, right? Of House Nouvelle? It has been some time, Duke Garrett. Your present circumstances seem rather dire. You have no obligation to help me, but won't you please lend a hand? Whatever you require. My refusal to assist you would besmirch House Nouvelle's honor. I owe you one! Put me in there! Need a hand? Think this will work? fools into monsters? Ruthless. Did I spy a fragment of a crest stone? Interesting. I've not seen an effect such as that before. Constance, this is not the time for research. Get it together. Don't let them near the Duke. Let me at him. Take things up.
The death of an Forgive my intrusion. Schemed you into this mess, but I'll make this quick for you. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Coast is clear now. Phew. Well, that was bizarre and unfortunate. What the hell happened to them anyway? The gulf of my ignorance prevents me from answering such a question. You were unharmed, my lord, and that the relic is safe and sound. Yes, thanks to your intervention. Today was a day to make my blood run cold. Colder than a strang winter, I'd wager. Our foes gave us a pitched battle. I am sorry to say that the ringleader's escape was my fault. It is a miracle that no harm came to your lordship or the relic, in spite of my clumsy efforts. You don't sound quite yourself, Constance. I'd no idea what a toll life has taken on you. Perhaps it might cheer you to know that I intend to reward you for all that you've done today. For more than that, actually, I owe your parents a great debt for their services. I dare say that the church intended you to collect on it when they sent you. The debt you owed my parents need not extend to their daughter. No reward shall be necessary. Our help doesn't come for free. I think the relic will do nicely. Ah, yes, by all means. Even if you have no use for it, perhaps you know somebody who does. These are the fetters of Dromi. They draw on the power of the Crest of Obom. It's a priceless treasure that ended up in Dagda, after the truce, they sent it to us in friendship. One story holds that Saint Sero subjugated the Ten Elites and the clans who followed them. There may have been a few clan elders who fled across the sea to escape suppression. The Empire's Minister of Foreign Affairs must hold on to every bit of leverage that he can. Which is why I feel a bit derelict in my duty here. I've put my feelings ahead of my role. The Minister of Foreign Affairs appears to be discarding his hand in order to repay a personal debt. My lord. to be back at the monastery. I suppose the church will be wanting their relic. Yeah, they might. But I've got grander plans for it. What? Of all the self-centered... Wait, do you mean to say that you're compatible? You bear the crest of Obon? Very good, Constance. Hey friend, I've got a request. Can you talk the church into letting me borrow the relic for a bit? If you believe anyone would lend you a relic, your wits are softer than I gave you credit for. The Crest of Oban has all but vanished from Fodlan. Nobody but me carries it now. 
I'm the only one in all of Fodlin who can use it. The church hanging on to it is useless. Letting me make use of it is simply practical. Otherwise, it'll just be gathering dust in some stinky old vault. Don't you worry your pretty little head. I won't use it for ill. I'd never be able to make it up to Duke Garrick after all. You can keep an eye on them while they're on loan. That'll make this whole thing go over easy as pie. So this was the game you began when you offered your assistance. Well played. Thanks. I figured the Duke has no use for them, and neither does the Church. But I sure do. Ultimately, I want to use them to benefit the greater good. There's certainly no harm in that. Pal, any idea where Happy is? Right. This is bad. Real bad. It's nothing. Ugh. Okay, fine. If you insist, I'll tell you what's happened. Thing is, a box was delivered yesterday. Filled with... Feathers. Pricey ones. For bedding. Happy loves a good nap, so she climbed on in. Now she and the box are nowhere to be found. I checked with my merchant contacts. Turns out it was taken to Enbar to be sold on the black market. You catch what I'm throwing, yeah? Happy was fast asleep in the thing when it was stolen. Thanks. I mean, yeah, that's happy for you. She runs like clockwork, that one. Goes to bed at sunset and won't wake up until sunrise. If we don't go and find her, something terrible could happen. One sigh and a demonic beast could come barreling through town. Right! The way I see it, I have no choice but to rush off and rescue her. You in? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Let's get to it. Finally, we're here. Now, where's Happy? We've got to find her before that box is sold. Let's split up and search the town. We'll cover more ground that way. I know! Where in the hell could she go? I can't believe you, B. Well, I can, but that doesn't make me any less angry. Whoa, easy there. I have a good reason. Trust me. Don't even try to weasel your way out of this. Ooh, you're the worst! Don't ask me. I was just relaxing in Abyss, and when I came to the surface, everyone was gone. When I heard he was dragging you here, I nearly threw a fit! Look, I may be a scoundrel, but I stand by what I did. Let me explain. I got a tip off that an item was being sold on the black market today. Not just any item. My mom's... There you are! How dare you interfere with our business! You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. You're finished! We'll continue story time later. First, I'll need your help clearing out these thugs. Is 
that thanks a bunch? Is that thanks a bunch? Is that thanks a bunch? Come back. We got what we came for. With this, my sweet daughter will finally... Yes, the young mistress will finally be safe again. Let's return home at once. But first, oh dear, it seems some thieves are causing trouble in town. Thieves? Goddess, no. We must hold on to our treasure. There's just one thing you need to remember, yeah? If you see anyone with something that looks like a hero's relic, grab it. You already know this, but it would get real bad real quick if we let them run wild with that thing. Wait a second. How did a hero's relic end up being sold on the black market? Let me at him. Stay focused. Yep. Quit bugging! Oh! Easy peasy. Sure thing. <laughs> Who's next? Put me in there! Yeah, it worked! Oh no... I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Them tremble. Oh, no. Stay focused.
sun. Getting started. Too weak. Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> Only a fool challenges me. Sure thing. Uh, 
my un- I will not be stopping. Stay focused. You fought well. a weakling to their demise. Better than you. Forget who you're dealing with. Rather fight drowsiness. What a jump.
Right makes money, right? Face it, I'm better than you. Not bad. You're not going anywhere. Can't leave any witnesses alive. Held back? Closer. You do. I will have no choice but to unleash this power upon you. Easy there, buddy. Danger wise, that thing's on par with the hero's relic. If you don't have a crest, you'll turn into a hideous monster. You can't scare me. No price is too high to save my precious daughter. I harbor no ill will. All I ask for is forgiveness for the sake of my house. Awful losing to me. Yikes. You 
weren't kidding about the hideous monster thing. Is that what you were looking for, B? That's it, all right. That horrible sound. I can't stand it. I'm sorry we let this happen. Stay focused. Sure thing. I won? That can't be right. At least you're no coward. I'm impressed.
each battle a chance to grow. Victory. I sped a weakling to their demise. That is that. Battle, a chance to grow. Forgive me, my daughter, Monica. <sighs> Nothing more you can do, pal. At least we got it back. I know I owe you and Happy an apology, so, uh, I'm sorry. Really, sorry. Mean that. I'm sure you had your reasons. When we get back, you better explain what the heck those reasons were. So, what's the story with this hero's relic? Well, it's not exactly a real relic, per se. Nope. It's a replica, crafted after the War of Heroes. It's a secret family heirloom of sorts, from my mom's village. Somehow, word of it got out recently. As happens with valuable things, it was stolen soon after. So, when you heard it might be on the black market, you tricked others into helping you steal it by telling them I'd been kidnapped. You're still mad, yeah? Look, I'm sorry, okay? There, you can go ahead and cheer up now. 
I only did it because if they turned into monsters, there was a chance I couldn't take them on my own. Couldn't risk telling you the truth. If the church had caught wind, they'd have taken it for themselves. How uncharacteristically wise of you, B. So that's why you felt a need for this bizarre scheme. Oh, and Professor, guess I owe you an apology too. Sorry, shouldn't have done you like that. I guess if Chatterbox can forgive you, I can too. You were doing it for your family after all. What was up with that noble guy though? He didn't seem interested in hearing what we had to say. Yeah, good point. I wonder why he wanted this thing to begin with. I don't know for certain, but it's likely he wanted that item for his daughter. The man in question is Baron Ox. He is a minor noble from the west of the Empire. His daughter went missing last year. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that she's still alive. Monica, the girl Kranya was impersonating, she was Baron Ox's daughter. What does that have to do with the relic? Uh, the non-relic, I mean. Word has it that Baron Ox received a proposition. His daughter's safe return in exchange for a hero's relic. Of course. This whole mess happened because somebody wanted to get their mitts on a relic. Could be folks like Kranya and Solon were pulling the strings themselves. It's possible, but we weren't able to get anything out of Baron Ox. The head of that house died years ago, and the whole family has been a mess ever since. We have no choice but to find another source for that information. Are you sure you want to return this thing to your village? People might come looking for it. Good point. I actually got a letter from my mom on the subject. She suggested it would be safer in Garrick Mach. She also said my crest should allow me to use it. She's entrusting it to me. Which is a bad idea, so I'm entrusting it to you, Professor. Positive. You'll know what to do with it. Give it to me or someone else. Whatever you think. Um, B, that's a priceless artifact. Sure is. Lose it and you'll owe me. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. I've got a question. Can you call yourself a... Hey, pal. Look who it is. How are you, Chatterbox? Gotten the hang of the whole teaching thing yet? Oh, you're still finding your footing? That's not really the impression I got. You seem like one of those people who blends in. I could see you just about anywhere and think, Oh, that person's here. Makes sense. I wasn't paying you some sort of compliment. To me, it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in the goddess. You're here supporting the church, and that makes you no different from the others. I can't stand that. 
No need to apologize. I just have a rocky history with the church is all. They betrayed me, or at any rate, horribly mistreated me. So I'm not a huge fan, but keep that to yourself. When I was little, a lady locked me up and held me captive for a long time. The Knights of Saros rescued me, promised to protect me. But then they hid me away in abyss. So all the knights did was move me from one cage to another. Wouldn't you call that mistreatment? It was all for the greater good. They didn't want to put anyone important in danger. As for me, my life was expendable. That guy Alois was nice to me though. And he told me a bunch of hilarious jokes to cheer me up. Do they not have sarcasm where you come from? Keep up. Anyway, that's why I hate the church. Someday you'll hate them too. They only hired you because they needed a warm body to fill the post. When you're of no use to them, they'll get rid of you without a second thought. Sorry, that sounded more menacing than I intended. I'm just telling you how these people think. They have rules, dogma. They want us all bound to their system so they can control us. I don't do well with that sort of stuff. That's why I ran away from home in the first place. Yeah, ran far, far away. But as far as I ran, it wasn't far enough. I got dragged back into society, chains and all. The kind of world I want doesn't exist. I'm getting too dark for you, aren't I? Forget I said anything. Your future seems bright at least. You can just sit back and enjoy whatever comes your way. I'm just saying, don't rest your entire future on the church. It's not as steady a foundation as it seems. Anyway, that's all. I'll be going now. As long as it makes me stronger. That was a breeze. Easy peasy.
Let me consider sometimes. I find myself thinking I should leave Garrig Mark and return to my home, where I should have been all along. Ignore me. I'm sorry. It's a silly thing. An old man's ramblings and nothing more. I hear that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's task. She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodland's people. Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. I have a request. Thank you very much. I will master this. Chatterbox. Thank you. 